QuantumScape director Singh Jagdeep sells over 1.4 million US dollars in stock. In a recent transaction, Jagdeep Singh, a director at QuantumScape, sold a significant number of shares in the company. According to the latest filings, Singh sold 190,280 shares at an average price of $5.8508, amounting to approximately $1.12 million. Additionally, another batch of 57,720 shares was sold at the same average price, totaling around $337,708. While Singh engaged in selling shares, there were also transactions indicating the exercise of stock options. These options were exercised at a price of $1.3128 per share, with a total transaction value of $252,425. It's important to note that the exercises and subsequent sales reported on the Form 4 were conducted under a Rule 10b-51 trading plan, which Singh had adopted on March 1, 2024. This plan allows corporate insiders to set up a predetermined schedule to sell stocks to avoid accusations of insider trading. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and activating notifications to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, sharing is caring. The sales were executed in multiple transactions at prices ranging from $5.705 to $6.0025. The exact number of shares sold at each price point within this range can be provided upon request, as mentioned in the footnotes of the filing. Following these transactions, Singh's direct holdings in QuantumScape have changed although the exact post-transaction share count was not disclosed in the summary provided. The filing also notes that Singh's family trusts hold additional shares, for which he disclaims beneficial ownership except to the extent of his pecuniary interest. Investors often monitor insider transactions as they can provide insights into executives' perspectives on the company's future prospects. QuantumScape, known for its development of solid-state lithium metal batteries for electric vehicles, has been closely watched by the market, especially with the growing interest in sustainable energy solutions. For those interested in QuantumScape's stock movements, the company trades under the ticker symbol QS on the New York Stock Exchange. As QuantumScape navigates through the evolving market of solid-state lithium metal batteries, recent insider transactions have drawn attention. Jagdeep Singh's sale of company shares comes at a time when the company's financial metrics and market performance are of particular interest to investors. According to InvestingPro data, QuantumScape holds a market capitalization of $2.82 billion. And despite a challenging financial landscape, the company's balance sheet reflects a positioning of more cash than debt. This could be seen as a sign of financial prudence and resilience in a capital-intensive industry. However, the company's valuation metrics indicate some concerns. The P.E. ratio stands at minus 5.85, with an adjusted P.E. ratio for the last 12 months as of Q1 2024 at minus 6.26. Such negative ratios suggest that the company is not currently generating net positive earnings, a sentiment echoed by analysts who do not anticipate QuantumScape will be profitable this year. Furthermore, the stock price has experienced significant volatility, with a one-year price total return of minus 15.32%, emphasizing the market's uncertainty regarding the company's near-term financial performance. QuantumScape just shipped a new version of its solid-state batteries. Renewable and sustainable energy are emerging as a popular investment choice for energy investors. Electric vehicles are part of this trend. Tesla is arguably the leader in EV adoption. However, 
QuantumScape's minus 3.43% stock has also received considerable attention since going public in 2020. The primary differentiator between Tesla and QuantumScape lies in battery technology. Tesla's vehicles use lithium-ion batteries. Over the last several years, the company has invested significantly into a new model of lithium-ion batteries called 4680 cells. By contrast, QuantumScape is developing a solid-state battery. While Tesla has long averted solid-state batteries, there is some evidence that the technology is more energy efficient than current lithium-ion models. The main argument surrounding solid-state batteries versus traditional lithium-ion technology is that it's capable of shorter charging times, lower costs for drivers, and longer ranges. This all sounds great on the surface, and begs the question why Tesla isn't investing in solid-state batteries as well. Let's examine QuantumScape's current projects and assess whether the battery maker could leapfrog Tesla in the AV market. QuantumScape is making progress, but QuantumScape has made some major strides so far in 2024. According to management, QuantumScape has runway until the back half of 2026, given the current rate at which it is spending its cash reserves. While this is encouraging, keep in mind that QuantumScape is going to continue investing heavily in research and development and capital expenditures over the next several years. Considering the company is not yet generating revenue, there isn't much room for error in expenses and capital allocation. Considering the number of bumps in the road affecting Tesla's growth, some investors may be wondering if QuantumScape carries better upside given its momentum. Moreover, with shares down 30% so far in 2024, it's natural to think Tesla's best days are in the rearview mirror. Personally, I don't see it that way. Despite its slowing growth, Tesla has a number of catalysts that I think will pay off in the long run. By contrast, QuantumScape is still in the exploration phase of a new technology that's possibly superior to existing power sources in EVs, but doesn't have any tangible business results to show for it. Outside of batteries, Tesla is pursuing autonomous driving technology. Although Alphabet's Waymo has proven a formidable competitor, I think Tesla has an edge given the company has collected over 1.3 billion miles of driver data. This volume of data is allowing Tesla to train its self-driving car software at an efficient pace relative to its peers. This is especially lucrative because Tesla could benefit by licensing its autonomous driving software to other automakers in the long run. Moreover, Musk appears to be taking this ambition extremely seriously as he recently met with Chinese regulators in hopes of striking a deal to integrate its autonomous driving technology into cars in the region. Furthermore, Tesla is also making a splash outside of EVs through its develops in artificial intelligence, AI, robotics products as well. Solid-state batteries for EVs are a relatively new concept. As the chart above indicates, the costs associated with producing and manufacturing this technology come with a steep price tag. While the progress in Alpha 2 is impressive, Investors should note that these batteries are still only prototypes. This implies yet another subtle risk with QuantumScape and why Tesla isn't pursuing solid-state batteries. Namely, even after massive investment, QuantumScape is yet to produce its batteries at scale. This is another challenge the company will face in the future if solid-state batteries become more widely adopted. It's entirely plausible that QuantumScape's solid-state batteries become an industry standard in the EV market. However, I see this as unlikely. 
even at mass production, solid-state batteries will command a premium for some time. This will only add significant costs to automakers like Tesla, which will then be forced to pass on these expenses to consumers in the form of more expensive vehicle prices. I think this is exactly why Musk remains content using lithium-ion batteries. Tesla has identified several other areas to complement its EV business and would rather allocate financial resources into those opportunities. While QuantumScape could absolutely expand outside the EV market, Tesla has first mover advantage across many different opportunities. That concludes today's discussion. Please remember to like, comment, and share this content with fellow enthusiasts and relevant forums. Thank you, and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our next episode.